Hi. My question has to do a little bit about what was talked about on the first draft um, yes. panel. I always read what I've seen of Transformers as a lot of like father and son interactions, like with Optimus Prime and most of the Transformers, mm -hmm. but especially Bumblebee and Hot Rod and Megatron and Starscream, I read a lot as like a father and son dynamic. But it was interesting that the first draft had a mother and Daniel instead of Spike, and I was just curious how that got changed and how that was gonna play out since there wasn't really women and having a mother I think was like a really interesting dynamic to have against like- Optimus I'm gonna Prime. talk about that because this is part of why we need me too. <laughs> I had to fight to get RC in as a character and if you've been other panels, Hasbro says, little girls don't like this. I said, my daughter is a little girl, why deprive her of this great activity? They still weren't convinced, and then I said, I gotta do it, gotta do this. At least look at it. They looked at it, they went for it. But when it came to the mother, they said, no, you know, mothers and sons, that means the son is weak, and that means the mother's overpowering, and also, you know, the women making these kind of choices is, who's gonna believe that? Some people didn't know the right women. Because <laughs> there were women in my architectural class who could have torn Fresno down in two days. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I became a feminist early because my father died when I was 11. Now, my mother suddenly was being hit on by all of these guys. And she didn't like that. But she was suddenly, as far as they were concerned, available. So I suddenly thought, when I see my father's friends hitting on her, when I see other women treating her badly, because now their husbands are interested in my mother, I thought, this is wrong. This is wrong. And I admired my mother, who was also nuts, <laughs> but brilliant. She was a concert pianist. She was an opera singer. She was a great artist who won the Greater Pittsburgh Gold Medal in Art when she was 79 and again at 88. So she was a formidable person. And here's an example of why I admired her and what I like about women who won't take it. In my third grade class, the teacher, whose name was Mrs. Gates, was reading about this and she said, then the Siox Indians came in. I said, Mrs. Gates, yes? I, I'm sorry, but it's pronounced Sioux. She said, in my class, it's Siox. <laughs> I came home, I told my mother, she calls Mrs. Gates. She said, Mrs. Gates, this is Ronald Friedman's mother. It's spelled Siox, but it's pronounced Sioux and you are an ignoramus. <laughs> I-G-N-O-R-A-M-U-S. I thought, great. <laughs> so now you know where I come from vis-a-vis -vis women. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.